Welcome to CTN News Spotlight. I'm Steve Antis. For more than a century, 4-H has stood the test of time to become America's largest and most respected youth development organization. On today's show, we'll introduce you to a couple of volunteers who are the lifeblood of 4-H clubs right here in Anoka County. It starts in kindergarten, so five years old, all the way through your first year in college. The Anoka County Fair is a busy time for the members of 4-H. You have to have some kind of mechanism to pull the valuables. There's so much for young people to learn and do in 4-H, from the robotics club to the poultry barn, and with nearly 700 members in Anoka County, they need a little help. Um, we have volunteers who help set things up, volunteers who help take things down, run the events, everything. This, this fair wouldn't happen without volunteers. My 4-H clover tattoo. For the past eight years, Rita Everhart of Coon Rapids has volunteered for Anoka County 4-H. She was a 4-H'er herself and now has two daughters in 4-H and is club leader for the River Raiders. A lot of the volunteers are parents that have grown up in 4-H. A lot of them not, but I think once you start the 4-H proje- process, you just keep going because it's so great. There are 16 4-H clubs spread throughout Anoka County and for one week each year, they come together at the county fair. And it's kind of like a family reunion, because some of these people we, haven't, we only see once a year. So it's really fun to see people and talk with them and see how they're doing and how are their kids doing with their projects. And we have t- about 230 volunteers in our program at this time. 4-H program coordinator Anna Gilbertson talked about the number of screened adult volunteers in the county, Along with that, they have an even larger force of parent volunteers. Multi-generational families are very, very common in 4-H, and we find um, people have such strong emotions and an attachment to the program as they've been through it. They really want their, um, their children or their grandchildren to experience. Come on, Sam, jump! Oh, good boy! All right, good boy! Marlene Keller has been a 4-H volunteer for more than 30 years. She grew up in a 4-H family working with animals. This is a picture of me and my pony, Bobby, from back in the day when I was in 4-H. I was about 11 years old in this picture, and I did uh, take her one year to our county fair up in Wadena, Minnesota, and I showed her just in the halter class. I think, if I remember correctly, we got a blue ribbon. Today, Marlene is deeply involved with the 4-H dog program, and her grandson, Will, is going to show his dog, Sam, at the state dog show next month. So he started in third grade in the dog project where he could um, actually train and, and show the dog. Marlene is also a club leader for the Rapid Rascals in Coon Rapids. This past year, we had 42 kids registered for, uh, for the Rapid Rascals. I'm the, uh, one of the leaders, and then my daughter, Denise, is the other leader, and then uh, my cousin, Tracy Ball, is the third leader of the Rapid Rascals, and we divide up the duties. I sort of do the administrative type things, and Denise works a lot with the officers, and Tracy does a lot of activities. For Rita Everhart's River Raiders, some of their activities include making blankets to donate to the ACBC food shelf each December, and in summer, doing a little song and dance. Our favorite one is the County Arts Inn. It's a musical, a show that the girls do, or the kids do. There's 113 kids this year, so they put on a show and it's quite fun. Marlene keeps busy serving on a number of committees in addition to her duties as club leader it's clear she likes working with kids. In fact, now in the dog program, we're having kids of the kids that were my daughter's age, you know, when she was involved. Caring adults, teaching the next generation of leaders how it's done. It's very important for us to have volunteers but that are willing to help us take a look at the program in a larger role because it is a volunteer-driven organization. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Anoka County 4-H, you're invited to attend an open house on Thursday, September 29th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. here at the Bunker Hills Activity Center in Andover. Well, that does it for this edition of CTN News Spotlight. Thanks for watching.